Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SDL 0320 representing JVS. So I'm back here again for the second episode of the third season of Gotham. The name of this episode was uh, Mad City, Burn the Witch, which is all awesome centered around try everyone trying to kill not only the monsters, but just Fish Mooney in general. And the thing is, I'll say that Jada probably, this might be one of her best performances as Fish Mooney. Like, I, it was surprising to me that she was able to show up and show out in the way that she did and the interactions with penguins and the interactions with the other characters. I thought that it all was very well placed, very well done. Um, but let's go into the brass tacks as far as the dynamics of the story. It was interesting seeing uh, Mrs. Vail and watching Jim kind of like trying to navigate their terms of their friendship relationship. I kind of felt like Vail really saw something good in Jim. Um, but it was kind of like she kind of double crossed and then it kind of went back and forth with it. Then to leave the conclusion, the thing that I disliked about that was how things ended. And then you just give me with another gut check with somebody that's coming back into town. And I was like, that's just dramatic flair for the heck of it. And I didn't need that. You know what I'm saying? Like the episode in and of itself was pretty good. And then even with, um, with Ivy, you know what I'm saying? And coming off of what happened with her, the interaction with that guy that makes people, you know, age. And seeing kind of like how she is as an adult, um, it's really interesting. I, I think that is they, they put it off pretty well. I think the thing that I, I think that they messed up is they should have had her have her own kind of episode to kind of build up to a little bit more. We're kind of just introducing like, okay, she's back, and that would be the end of the episode, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then the next episode show how she interacts with other people, you know, uh, versus the action that she did and kind of just like, when did this happen? You know, I would rather have seen you know, this first thing she did. I don't want to spoil anything. This is a non spoil review. Um, but then, when I think about Alfred, and when I think about, like I said, Bruce, the whole beginning of that was just crazy. If y'all know the Court of the Owls, you will understand the dynamics of what is happening. And just, like, I don't know. I just love Alfred and Bruce in this episode. It's like their relationships are finding, like, Okay, now we're getting somewhere, and now they kind of get dropped this whole egg. And I'm like, this is a bad egg. Like, why y'all, as far as the show is concerned, you know what I'm saying? I understand the dramatic flair, but I was like, just progress their characters. You know what I'm saying? They do good by themselves, you know? Add maybe Selena in there a little bit, but just this character, who's actually a monster too, I was like, I don't know where they're going with this, you know? So, um, I don't know, there was so many different things I liked about it. So even, like I said, with Gordon, the action beat, specifically Penguin and what he's doing, that interaction between Penguin and Fish Mooney is probably the best line of dialogue. That's why I said this is one of Jada's best um, that she's done. And even, like, the dynamic of Penguin as a character, I was like, okay, yeah, she got him. And I don't know if she meant what she said at the end or she just said it to save face, but in the end, she really could have killed him before. So... I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what y'all thought. I give this episode a 9 out of 10. I actually like this episode. I thought this was actually one of the better episodes that they could have actually done. I think that there's some missteps here and there, specifically with Ivy, specifically with just the dramatic stuff just adding in as far as like the romantic element, stuff like that. That was, that could have been cut out and it could have been actually a better episode. But either way, it was actually very entertaining. That's one of the things with Gotham excels as being an entertainment value based show. So I hope you enjoy this reaction, oh, not reaction, but review for Gotham, episode two, season three. Keep it locked. JVS, we're going to stop. Have a blessed one. Peace.